was good with y'all, man. It is your boy, Young Swag, coming at y'all, boys. Once more with another video. So today, man, uh, uh, I'm gonna be honest, bro. A legend passed away. Man. I'm telling y'all right now. Um, today I actually came from school. I'm not even gonna lie, man. It's, it's, this is really sad, but look. So basically, today I came from school and I actually found out that XX Tentacion basically died. At first, I was like, nah, man. There's gotta be some some you feel me fake news some stuff like that but then i actually seen j cole and them like um give his condolences and stuff and um th th this is crazy bro this is honestly crazy to be honest like a lot of people probably like nah he's just a rapper he passed away and stuff like that but um i'm not even gonna lie bro this man really like influenced a lot of people influenced a lot of people um, I can't even talk right now, bro. But look, this man dead ass influenced a lot of people, and he had a message, man. He had a message, and um, I know, I know his past, man. He he didn't have the best past. He wasn't the best individual, but at the end of the day, he changed that. We we all got it, bro. We all got it. At the end of the day, I can't even talk right now. But look, at the end of the day, he changed that. This video is uncut, man. Like I'm not gonna do no cuts in this video, no nothing. You feel me? Cause. I just want to speak my mind, man. I just want to speak my mind. But yeah, so as I was saying, um, he didn't have the best pass. You feel me? Um, he he didn't have the the greatest record out there, but he wasn't a bad person. Um, he changed his ways, and to be honest, he was doing great. He was doing charity events, events. I mean, I can't even tell man. He was doing charity events. He was doing all of that, and um. I'm not even gonna lie, man. Um, ever since that song, Look At Me, I've been a fan of X. I've honestly been a fan of X. And this is just crazy. I, there's, there was actually a video going around of X um, being in, a, in the car, basically, his BMW IA. Um, basically, just the man was dead, okay? Um, he had no pulse, no nothing. And the crazy thing is that people recorded that. And, and that's the thing that really makes me mad. Um, I'm not gonna put the, the, the video in this video, of course, because that's just disrespectful. Why would you record a person that's dead and then post it? You feel me? Um, so yeah, man, the video was all over the place. We'll start posting it. Um, it was all over Instagram, and I feel like that's really disrespectful, and I feel like something like, like that shouldn't be out there. Um, I don't even know, man. I don't even know. Nobody even know who the killer man. Um, all, all we know was that he was um, motorcycle shopping, and then when he came out, they pulled up on him, man. They pulled up on him. I don't even know what to say, but yeah, the thing that makes me really mad is that people saw him in the car. He was shot, okay? He was in his BMW IA. The man had his mouth open and everything. And like, I, I don't even want to. Picture that again in my mind. Um, as I always say, man, this is really sad and devastating. He doesn't deserve that. And as I said, the thing that makes me really mad was that um people was recording him while he was dead, basically, or about to die. And they wasn't helping this dude out. They wasn't giving him CPR. You feel me? They wasn't helping this man out. Um, they, they was just sitting there recording him, just for the views, man. And, and, and that's really that's really fucked up. I'm gonna say I don't care. Usually I be put um cutting out every time I curse in my videos. I don't care, man. I don't really care. That's really fucked up. And um there's nothing else to say. Also six nine man, you gotta chill. You gotta chill six nine man. You out here beefing with Chief Keith, all of them. You gotta chill, man. You honestly gotta chill. You be out here beefing with Chief Keith and them. And you be beefing with everybody, man. You gotta chill, six man. Cause you, if you keep on going on this path, I'm, I'm, it's really hard to say this, but you gonna be the next successful artist to um pass away. And yeah, man, that's just honest, honestly, man. I actually seen the video that six man posted on his Instagram talking about um how he taking life for granted and stuff. Um, I'm actually play it right now. What's up, guys? Um. I'm just saying, saying, thinking, sometimes I just feel like I do too much trolling. Sometimes I feel like I just do too much. And tomorrow's not promised, you know what I mean? And I feel like 
sometimes someone someone might get the wrong image of me. You could be here today and be gone tomorrow. X spread nothing but positivity. Nothing but positivity. Always called me on the phone. Danny, are you okay? Danny, yo, you doing this the right way. Just try to do more of this. Like, you could call me. Talk to me. Like, what, what's going on? Yo, fuck all that beef shit. Fuck all that. Knowing that he was nothing but positive and nobody wanted to harm him. You hear what I'm saying? There's probably like a hundred a million thousand people out there trying to kill me. And yes, it's not. I gotta tell you, man. You gotta, you gotta start taking um, life more seriously because you out here beefing with these guys. You got Chief Keys, baby mama. You feel me? Um, people doing this type of stuff, you get killed, man. Doing this type of stuff, you get killed. It's real right here, man. Nobody wanna see you win. And before this video even ends, I just wanna say to all of y'all XX and Tashion fans, including me, I'm a really big fan. Ever since Look at Me came out, I've been a fan since. But for all of y'all, man. I, including myself this is hard man i honestly wish this was a dream because the man man he he was a great individual great person i know his path is not the great is not the greatest but i mean people nobody's perfect in this world that's basically what i'm trying to say and to all the social media outlets out here trying to trash him and put him down man fuck him to be honest um that's all i gotta say man um i'm gonna just wrap up this video by playing a clip of a message that XX Tentacion basically said um, if he didn't make it and stuff like that in the live stream, which is pretty sad because I, I honestly think that he's seen this coming if he actually posted this. He actually seen this coming. So he, he was probably with people that we don't even probably know about. But yeah, man, that's all I got to say. Worst thing comes to worst, I fucking die a tragic death or some shit and I'm not able to see out my dreams. I at least want to know that the kids perceived my message and were able to make something of themselves and able to take my message and use it and turn it into something positive and to to at least have a good life i at least if i'm gonna if i'm gonna die or ever be a sacrifice i want to make sure that my life made at least five million kids happy or they found some sort of answers or resolve in my life regardless of the negative around my name regardless of, of the bad things people say to me, I don't give a fuck. Because I know my goal in the end and I know what I want for everyone and I know what my message is. So I just wanted to say, I appreciate and love all of you and I believe in you all. Do not let your depression make you. Do not let your body define your soul. Let your soul define your body. Your mind is limitless. You are worth, you are worth more than you could believe. All you have to do is dream, and all you have to do is want to fulfill that dream and have the strength. Bro, I don't even know what to say right now. I just don't know what to say. Um, I guess I'm just making this because the information, what I just heard, was that he's passed.